Let me take you to my neck of the woods and. <laughs> <laughs> One. Well, let me take it to the neck of the woods of my hood. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk. Let me take you back down there. Uh, let me take you to my neck of the woods and. <laughs> <laughs> One. Well, let me take it to the neck of the woods of my hood. I want to talk to you about my boy Birdman, and, and I know you was in that studio with Lil Wayne, so yeah. I'm a big fan of, you know, uh, Cash Money. Yeah. I also want to know, like, who was bigger in the 90s, Big Boy Records or Cash Money? Um, I mean, I'm always favorite favor of Cash Money. That's, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It why? Is what why? It is. What, what, what is the Cash Money? Because at the end of the day, They were just coming like, up at the time, too, though. Yeah, that's true, but it's, I don't... And it's petty, you know what I mean? But it, it really is petty. But my grandfather had a barbershop for, well, still, his, his name's still on. He don't, obviously don't cut hair no more. But, um, I mean, before he stopped cutting, he cut hair there for like 56 or 57 years. And it's right there on, on what they call 2nd and D. Okay, okay, Orleans, okay. Which is right around the corner from the Magnolia. So, naturally, they beef with the Calio. It's just... You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, so just from where I grew up and, you know, because I'm from Holly Grove, but like when my mom used to have shit to do, you know, we used to go by the barbershop and that's kind of where a lot of my friends was and shit. You see what I'm saying? So, you know. Cash money. It's petty. To the devil of me. It's cash Cash money money to to the the devil of me, my boy. I'm tatted on my stomach (laughs) right now. I moved me another hundred. And I told my nigga keep coming. We move another quick honey. Hey, so, so how was it, man? Was Lil Wayne that? Was he really like? I know you and Mac Man, y'all. You know, what yeah, I'm saying? yeah, yeah. I just y'all rocked out. Day. You know, like, like, what was it like being in that studio? And what phase was you with that young, that little young nigga that just, you know, with the, the one the women was really going crazy. Oh, it was a young nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Today, that's all I gotta say. Can't see you little. Money in the way. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, I mean, I met Wayne when uh I met him, it's crazy, because I met him on his 19th birthday, I think. Wow, that's hard. Yeah, yeah. I know which one it is. Because my cousin could draw his ass off. He's super, super cold with the drawing. And we kind of like, you know, we would see them around and shit, and they speak and quietly. Don't nobody know, but Juvenile, my real cousin as well. So really, yeah. Shout out to Juvie. Yeah, I, I told you to come on Boss Talk. This this whole finna go up, nigga. I told <laughs> little yeah. soldier Slim, get in his ear. Hey. I told that nigga. I, 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 can, I can tell him. <laughs> like, like, quit playing. Man, like, quit playing. But he like, man, man, no, man, I don't never really do that, nigga. We pulling up. It's I'm at Sharonis, nigga. I'm everywhere down there. It's crazy. So what's before I just blow past that, the building that I was just telling you about, yeah. you know, when my grandpa had the, the barbershop, mm-hmm. uh, Juve got his studio upstairs now. Okay, that's hard. That's yeah, hard. Juve yeah. Tuesday, he over there. Bro, he, and he's so dope. Like, a lot of people don't know that he worked with his hands like a motherfucker. He be making yeah. all type of different shit. You know what I mean? Like, he, he cold. He we, look like uh, a nigga that can cook a little bit, too. Who, me? Oh, no, I'm talking about Juve. him. Yeah, Juve. Oh, he official. Juve cooks. Especially yeah. on that grill. And I, like, I can look at the nigga and tell. That nigga, like, that nigga look like he might be able to cook a little bit yeah, down there. He, <laughs> listen, listen, he raw. He yeah. definitely cold with it. But, um, damn, what was we Lil about Wayne, Lil oh, Wayne. Wayne. He was the only Wayne. Yeah, so um, my cousin could draw real good, right? My cousin Mike Lowry, he... So he drew Mike up, Lowry. Uh, yeah. They got a hell of a name. Yeah. <laughs> and lives up to it. <laughs> um, He, uh... He drew this picture of Ray Jeanne. Okay. You know, and um, he uh, he was about to give it to Jacita or whatever, and she was like, no, 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 don't give it to me. Come give it to him. So he was like, all right. So, um, yeah, she invited us over to the house and shit. Wayne came to the house, and it was like a very, you know, intimate setting with his mommy and shit, and it was, it was chill. So that was my first time meeting him. But then, like, that same cousin who I'm telling you about, he started doing beats. And uh, he was working with this group of producers called The Architects. And they was actually about to get a deal with Cash Money and shit. It was wow. like a whole thing. But Wayne, like the whole, everything from the prefix, the drought, all of that shit. Like I watched that nigga record that shit. Wow, man. GD, shout out to GDP. He put me on the phone with Birdman a few times, man. And to be honest with you, um, 
Man, I'm a big fan of the South. I'm a Southerner, bro. Yeah. From from Master P. Yeah. J Prince. Right. Pimp C. Pimp C for sure. Don't even trip, nigga. I'm yeah. a Pimp C fanatic. Yeah, fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, and Birdman. So just to see those, you know, them, them solid building by Jermaine Dupree. He just yeah. went on the Breakfast Club. Yeah. And that made a nigga feel real good about him because he stepped and put his chest out something. You know, you got to put your damn chest out sometime. You know what I'm saying? I know so that, I just right. love to see us like you. Get up, you know. Yeah, you can come to uh, uh, Los Angeles and do a, a easy. There ain't no telling what we might do from down there. Right, <laughs> right, right. For for sure, it's like, and then it's crazy, you know, because like, I think, you know, like you know how they say, you know, pressure make make diamonds. It busts pipes, for but sure. it also make diamonds. Make diamonds. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, and I've I've. I want to make sure I say this right. I'm trying to set up a system to make sure we reaching in there. Come on and now. And go and grab them diamonds. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Because what blew my mind, the first time I ever walked on a movie set, I was like, nigga, why didn't they tell me this took hundreds of people to do? What is all these people's jobs? Come on now. Who are the rest of these people? What is the AD? What is the DIT? What Come on is now. these fucking jobs? Why are they not telling us about this? And they're That's important. Real. That's real. You know? So, you know, I even even... People behind the camera, there still be diamonds in them situations. I you love know it. what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, you know, I'm I'm doing what I can to make sure that I'm putting something in place for us to to not have to work so hard to find the opportunity. Wow. You know, because you Top gotta three. Hold on, hold on. Before you get into time. that, let's go. Because my question here is, you know, being an actor is good and dandy and all, mm -hmm. but when I think about, I hear about the music industry and rappers and stuff like that. They say right now, they try to own their masters and try to own this and ownership. Right. What do actors do where ownership is concerned? Because y'all don't have masters and stuff like that. Right, right, right. So for us, it's all about IP, right? Like I, I was blessed enough to have um, some beautiful minds around me, and we started a company called Production Masterminds, and that's that's our whole thing. Think Bank. And, well, Think Tank and IP Bank. That's pretty much it. Because a lot of people, they go sell their intellectual properties. And that's what what takes the, the power from What them. is IP Bank and what is... Okay, so, like, <coughs> a lot of times, mm -hmm. right? Like, if you're going to invest in a movie, mm -hmm. you're investing into a single intellectual property. Okay. Right? Let's just say the movie is Boss Talk. Okay. Right? And you, as an investor, have to really believe in Boss Talk because it ain't cheap to make a movie. But now you are betting on that one-off movie doing great. Mm-hmm. There's so much content out here right now that, like, as an investor, it kind of don't make sense to invest that way. So we have it set up more like a record label now where... You know, a record label might have 100 artists, but they know these 10 going to bust and mm -hmm. pay for everything else. You understand what I'm saying? So we give, you know, our, our investors the same opportunity to say, hey, instead of just betting on this one film, how about these 12 different kind of pieces of content? Like, I'll give you a prime example. Um, you watch Basketball Wives? I have watched bit. it before. A little yeah, you know, bit, right? A little bit. Nah, nah. That ain't never stopped it from being... Keep going. In the top five shows Ooh. for the last 12 years. Mm -hmm. That's hard. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So if it was up to me and you, we wouldn't have picked that. If that was on the slate, we'd have been like, uh, I don't know about that one. But that bitch busts. Mm -hmm. yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think it, it's smart and it behooves us, you know, as, as filmmakers to start thinking outside the box. You know what I mean? Lucky for me, I... I grew up under the Birdman's and Masterpiece. Come on, you know man. What I'm nobody saying? know so, about being so independent. I'm just, yeah, I'm just, I'm just taking the same model and making it fit into into the the acting world. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk.